Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. On this video, I want to show you a couple of things that some of you have been asking me about Onkyo TXNR757. And uh, I'm going to answer those questions. A couple of questions people have been asking me. I've been hooking up. Uh, one example, one person asked me, I'm trying to hook up my PlayStation 4 Pro to a output receiver here in the back and uh, for some reason it doesn't read HDR please help what can I do I've been having a bunch of questions like that being asked and uh, I understand in the back when you look in the back you see a bunch of cables you see a bunch of uh, inputs outputs uh, you know regular Joe's regular Mary's who don't understand the technical aspect of all of this usually they will get confused what I'm going to do here I'm going to just do this for everybody like in basic terms so this is the front of the receiver on kill uh, TX and R757 I'm sorry it's the TX and R757 model number and uh, this is the front of the receiver here you see different uh, inputs that are on the back through HDMI you see BD DVD cable satellite game stream box PC auxiliary uh, so it has all of these inputs here now here's the, the thing when you plug in your HDMI cables from your PlayStation 4 or your Xbox One S or your Blu-ray player make sure you remember where you plugged it in because if you plug it in into the uh, HDMI input that doesn't support 2.2 then you're not going to be able to receive that HDR pass through there's only three only three HDMI input on this receiver three HDMI inputs on this receiver that support HDCP 2.2 so here let me show you in the back really quick okay so here in the back you can see a bunch of different HDMI inputs there's the main one that's called the arc now this main arc will go to your TV that's the only output that you're gonna connect to your TV and from there you're gonna be controlling all of these devices that you connected from PlayStation Xbox Blu-ray uh, player and your cable box but make sure you remember where you plugged in these cables because there's only three that support HTCP 2.2 okay so currently I have my uh, PlayStation 4 Pro hooked up and I'm using the input called cable cable satellite now you can change this it doesn't have to be a cable sa satellite but this cable satellite marked input on HDMI supports HDCP 2.2 and it's the only way you can get that HDR pass through now let me show you through a remote control right here we're gonna go ahead like this I'm gonna show it to you make sure you go hold on let me adjust my uh, low light make sure you go on the settings right here click on the settings right here once you click on the settings there's going to be a menu right here now on this menu what you want to do with your remote control from Ankyo you want to go ahead and click on the input output assign you want to go right here to the uh, HDMI input you see right here see what it says right here the HDMI 1 it's uh, HDCP 2.2 HDMI 2 it is HDCP 2.2 and HDMI 3 it's HDCP 2.2 so only three HDMI inputs support HDR now here you have blu-ray DVD down here at the bottom where I I signed the PlayStation 4 Pro under HDMI 2 it says cable satellite now you can change this if you want you do you can rename them if you want for example right here hold on 
Now, when you go to a video input, you can also assign your current Blu-ray, DVD, cable, satellite, and stream box. You can assign them as a different name. Uh, I think the best option would be for you to call it Video 1 or Video 2 or Component 2 or Component 1. The one thing that sucks is you cannot rename it. You know, That's the one thing I wish that they would allow you to do. But unfortunately, you cannot rename those inputs. Uh, just try to remember that on cable satellite, that's where your PlayStation is. And on the uh, uh, BDDV, that's where your 4K Blu-ray is. And on the Streambox, that's where your Xbox One S is. Remember, there's only three. Let me go back here. Uh, let me show you. There's only three that support uh, HDR pass-through. So that's Streambox cable satellite and BD DVD right now I'm playing uh, Horizon Zero Dawn on PlayStation 4 Pro and we're gonna switch to a HDMI 2 cable satellite that's where my PlayStation 4 Pro is connected and we're gonna click on it really quick And you see it says HDR, it's playing right there, so that supports HDR. And um, there you go. So remember, when you are connecting all of these things, just remember that there's only three HDMI inputs that support HDCP 2.2. And I think that's pretty good for a receiver. You can, you know, your PlayStation, your Xbox, and your Blu-ray player. So you'll be able to support HDR. Now, it would have been great if all of them were HDCP2. But if all of them were HDCP2.2, uh, then this uh, receiver would have cost more money, obviously. But, hey, I'm happy with three. Honestly, it gets the job done. But one more thing I want to mention. Just make sure... Please make sure that your ARC cable right here, main ARC cable, it's connected to another ARC input cable, which I will show you in the back of the uh, C6 uh, OLED TV. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there it is, ARC. It says to ARC. So make sure you connect your cable from the uh, ARC out from your receiver into ARC in on your TV.